my name is Deshi Omar from Elite Martial Arts here in Coltsack, New Jersey. And uh, today I'm actually going to be filming our Top Gun number one form that we are requiring all of our basic students to know for their next graduation. So make sure you guys go home and practice this form uh, whenever you can. And remember, practice makes habit, right? So when you're practicing, don't just go through the moves. Really put all your power and effort into it. That way you can really get something from the form. Uh, before we go into the video, just make sure um, you know this. When we do forms and our videos and when we're in class, in front of the class, oftentimes you like to mirror the students, right? So I know this is my right hand, but to the camera and, or to somebody standing in front of me, it looks like my left hand. So a lot of times when we're doing the videos or when we're uh, explaining a move in the, in the middle of class, we will do the opposite side so it's easier to follow along. Uh, so we're going to be doing the same thing for the video. So just know when I'm facing you, whenever my right hand is out, just do it so that way you're mirroring me, right? So put your left hand out, right? And I'll kind of explain it a little bit better as we're going on throughout the video. So the first take, I'll be fa facing you. And then for the second time, I'll be spinning around so that way you can follow along with me. All right, so I start off with my ready stance nice and strong. with my back straight. And for uh, any form, I like to start off by calling out the name of the form, really practicing, projecting our voice. Right, so the form that we're doing is Top Gun number one. So when, in class, when I would call out form, you would say, Top Gun number one, sir. You start off with your hands in chamber, your back straight, and the first move is a nice, strong X block over your head. Right, so when I'm here, I'm gonna go, yeah, as strong as I can, way over my head. I wanna make sure that I'm protecting my head and that I'm meeting at the wrist, right? I don't want my arms too wide or anything like that. I want my hands open and my wrists to be tight together. From here, I close my hands as strong as I can. My left leg steps out, and I go down to a strong horse stance with my, both of my knees bent, and I do two low blocks here. From here, remember when you're doing the uh, horse stance also, you wanna try and make a rectangle with your legs, your feet facing forward, and your knees in as much as you can, back straight. From here, your left hand is gonna grab your ear, you step forward with your left leg into a front stance, make sure you're on two tracks, and you push and pull your low block out. So you push the low block out and pull this hand into chamber. From here, I'm gonna do a strong punch with a nice side of the yeah. From here, my back foot does a front kick, and I put it in front. Next, I'm gonna do a strong punch, yeah. my hands come up. Now, I'm gonna back up because um, I wanna stay in the frame of the camera, but typically, when we're doing this form, we travel forward, right? I'm gonna be here into like almost more of a guard stance, kind of like a middle stance. I lift my back foot up, double front kick. I go down on my knee, immediately I do a shoulder roll with a strong punch. Yeah, I'm gonna turn, side kick, another side kick, and then I turn and punch. Yeah, and that's the whole form. Then I would finish. Elite, future, black tail, set. Let's do it this way. So I'll turn around and you can follow along with me. I start off with my right stance, form, top gun number one, sir. And chamber, X block over your head. One, yeah, horse stance, double low block. Two, grab, step forward, low block. Good, strong punch. From here, I do a strong front kick, and I put it in front. Punch, boom, my hands come up, double front, down on my knees, shoulder roll, punch, boom. I'm gonna turn, side kick, side kick, and then I turn and punch, yeah, and then I finish. Elite, future, back it up, sit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys go home and practice. Uh, and like I said before, practice makes habit. So if you practice at half your best, then you're gonna get really good at doing it at half your best. And we don't want that. We want you to be able to perform at your peak and practice at your peak, so that way when you guys come back to class, you can only get better from there. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at any time, and we'll be happy to get back to you and, uh, and help you out. All right, have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.